Okay. It's recording. So this is a dung beetle. And they will, they're attracted to animal dung. And a lot of species are very specific to certain types of dung. And then they will lay their eggs in it and the larvae will eat the dung. And you'll complete their life cycle into new beetles. And some dung beetles are endangered because the animal that makes the dung that they eat is endangered. Um, as an example, there is a dung beetle that eats the dung of the gopher tortoise that lives in Florida. That's the only kind of dung that it eats is the is the the poop of gopher tortoises. This one's probably eating the the dog poop in our yard. How long would you say it is? About a half an inch. Can you see all those colors? Let's see if there's some more on its back. So how do they move the dung for when they're wanting to lay eggs in it? Well, this one, I don't know if this one actually rolls it into a ball. Uh, I'm not sure, but if they do, it um, they use those back legs um, and they and they walk backwards and as they roll it. It looks like a ball after they roll it for a while. Yeah. And so their babies, after they hatch, eat the dung and then they grow up and move on. Grow up a little bit and move on. They'll, they'll actually bury the ball. They'll actually roll it into a ball and bury it. The babies will hatch up, hatch from the ball and crawl up out of the ground. Let's see if I can get it. It's a little underside of its face. I imagine it's cleaning itself. What do you think it's doing? Yeah, I, I rescued it from a from a water bowl. And what so, are those two little orangey things that I keep? Uh, those are an antenna. <laughs> so it's got a little plate on its head. We can't really see its face. So they would have, they're an insect, so they have three main body parts, right? Yes. A head, a thorax, which is kind of where the, our chest would be, I guess, and an abdomen. Look at its cool, the shape of its legs, how cool they are. So pretty. Does he have kind of hairs on him at all? Yeah, yeah I see yeah, some kind hairy. of underneath. Yeah, he's hairy on the, on, on the bottom side. Was he drowning in the water bowl? Yeah. Did they breathe through their sides? Yes. Look at, look at that iridescent green on it. It's one of the prettiest dung beetles. I love them when I find them. This is a female. How do you know? The male has a horn. And those green plate-like things I'm looking at, those are like the protection for its actual wings underneath? Yes. So they will fan out. If you've ever watched a ladybug, they kind of, the, the red with the black dots starts, it fans out and there's some real thin papery wings underneath. She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. So she's full grown. Yeah. So what will they, what will she do this winter? Uh, she'll die off this winter. So she's probably had her babies. Look at that bag. She's either already had them or she's still looking for some dung to lay her eggs in. Look at that bag. Oh, that's really beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. She's not cleaning so much now. I think she'll have plenty of We've got three dogs in this field. I think she can find some poop. Can you, oh, you don't have on, you have on gloves. I'll just see if I can look underneath her. I don't want to frighten her too much. 
The mosquitoes are coming after us now. Okay, I'm gonna let her go. I'm gonna let you go. Thank you for sharing.